Ladies and gentlemen, fasten your seat belts and prepare your taste buds as we embark on a relentless journey through the kingdom of brews. Welcome to the realm of intoxicating flavors and head-banging beer reviews. What's up, everybody? It's the Ginger Yeti, and I'm checking in from Grand Rapids. Today was a dark, gloomy, cold day. Good day to be inside. Spent most of the day, unfortunately, doing accounting and paperwork. Started doing some video editing. Never really made it out to any of the cool breweries that are in Grand Rapids, but I have been here before. I've spent a lot of time here, and there's a ton of cool breweries here. So if you do get the chance to make it to Grand Rapids, I think there's like 80 plus breweries inside the city or the greater Grand Rapids area. It's definitely worth a weekend trip, if not a week trip, just to come up here and try all the great beers. So since I am in Michigan, I figured I would uh, check out this beer from a Michigan brewery. Now this beer is Six Sprocket from Black Rocks Brewing at Black Rocks Brewery out of Marquette, Michigan. And up there in Marquette, I don't think they do the Sprockets dance while they drink this beer. But who knows? Maybe they do. Now this can uh, came to me from a beer day for TK. So thank you very much for this beer. And uh, I'm sure most of you guys have found my channel through him. But if you haven't, go check out his channel. I do some guest appearances on there. And he reviews a ton of beers. It's a great channel. Go check it out. Now... Let's see here, there's a lot going on in this can. Top of the can says, we love beer, you love beer, let's get together. And then the side here, it says, enjoy within six months of date on bottom. Cool. Wow, new kid on the block. 10-4-23. I'll try to remember to take a picture of that so I can throw that up there in the top. It also says, we at Black Rocks Brewery are proud to call Marquette, Michigan our home. Our name is inspired by the Black Rocks, located just north of town where locals and visitors have gathered to enjoy Lake Superior for generations. It also says, a light-bodied black ale with a smooth mouthfeel, followed by pleasant notes of creamy coffee and chocolate. So we'll have to look for those. Uh, it's 6% ABV, and doesn't say anything about IBUs on here. And I want to give Black Rocks a shout out, because this can, the labeling, super easy to read. Nice big print on a different colored background, just really easy to read. Other breweries out there should take note. This is how your labels should look. Make it easy for us to read these things, especially if we've been drinking. So obviously I've been bringing back the iconic plastic cup. And hopefully I can pour this beer into this iconic plastic cup without making a mess. Now when I'm tapped, this gets a 3.88. Not a whole lot of check-ins. Beer Advocate, it was NA. I kind of expected that. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Apparently my plastic cup is broken. Well, obviously that just sucked and I was not planning on that happening. This cup is cracked all the way down the side. So we have to improvise here as it's still dripping everywhere. Ah, uh, the joy of traveling, right? I'm sure nobody's ever poured a beer in a cup this way before, so this is a new one for me. Instead of one iconic plastic cup, we're gonna have however many it takes to get the beer back out of this, this cup here. This is a, now become an experiment, I guess. It is just cracked and dripping everywhere. I am making such a mess. Wow, this will be awesome. Glad I don't have to clean this room. Sorry, hotel clean crew. Get the rest of this out here and making more of a mess. So that sucked. But I guess now I'm going to use the iconic hotel cup. Plastic cup. Anyways, now that I've spilled this beer all over myself, the floor, who knows where else, let's take a look at it. It did have a nice, big, thick, tan brown head, but obviously it's now all over the place amongst different cups and who knows what. But... I guess you'll have that when you're using a plastic cup, right? As far as smell, it's just that chocolatey, roasty kind of smell. Nothing crazy, just like a nice subtle hints of chocolate, some roastiness, roasted malts. And that's about it. Of course, for color, it's not hard to tell. Got my winemaker's chart here. It's a 40. 
And maybe I should move this before it gets stained. Well, after all that nonsense, it's time to actually taste the beer. I definitely need it after that. Cheers, everybody. So what did it say back here now? I'm all flustered after that spill. Smooth mouthfeel. So let's check that out. It is pretty smooth. I mean, it's a medium, medium light bodied. Kind of what I would expected for a, what did this say this was, black ale? I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. Yeah, black ale. Yeah, medium to light body. There's some subtle hints of chocolate. I mean, it's very, very subtle, very fine. And yeah, you do get a little bit of coffiness too, but there's also a lot of roastiness in there, like roasted malt. I mean, this is almost pushing porter kind of flavors. But overall, this is a, this is a pretty good beer. I mean, I bet this beer would make some people do the sprockets dance. Anyways, I think I've, I've got a mess to clean up now, so I'm going to wrap this nonsense up. This is a big thumbs up, and I hope you give me a big thumbs up. Give me a like, give me a subscribe. Did you open a beer and spill it all over yourself while making a video? Do you use plastic cups? Let me know down in the comments. Have you been to... Uh, Black Rocks. I'd like to check this place out. Seems like a cool spot to go to in Marquette, Michigan. Never been to Marquette, Michigan. I guess that's enough of me rambling on, though. Till next time. My guest has been cross-checked. My name is Dita.